The story begins in Egypt in 1980, where many ancient artifacts could be found. The leader of the archaeologists knew that a sandstorm was imminent, but he still did not stop his men from researching and urged them to proceed. The leader needed to find the ancient caves as soon as possible. He told his son to return to the tent. As the leader's son was heading back home, he suddenly fell into a hole that directly led him to a very large cave. Upon calling for help, the boy's father and many other archaeologists also entered the cave. To their astonishment, it was the same cave that all the archaeologists had been searching for. Inside, the archaeologists discovered many ancient mummies' tombs, as well as items they had no idea about. On one of the mummies' tombs, there was a golden tablet, which the archaeologists thought was extremely precious and ancient. They decided that they should seize all these items. However, when some local people found out about this, they came to the archaeologists and warned them that all the items there were very magical and that if anyone touched them, they might be cursed. The archaeologists' leader and the others believed that these locals wanted to drive them away to seize the ancient items themselves, so the leader chased the villagers away and moved all the ancient items from the cave to the city. Years later, the scene shifts to Larry, a man working very responsibly in a museum. The museum contained all the ancient artifacts that the archaeologists had brought from the Egyptian caves years earlier. Remarkably, due to some magic, all the ancient species and mummies in the museum had come to life. From the large dinosaur skeletons to the ancient people whose statues had been present, all had come alive. Larry was aware of this, so he made friends with all the ancient people and made the museum very famous. Now, Larry wanted to put on a show in front of big businessmen to attract more investment in the museum. Captain, who arrived on horseback, told Larry that all preparations for the stage performance were complete and they just needed to impress the businessmen with the performance. However, an Egyptian pharaoh approached Larry, mentioning that the golden tablet, which had caused all the ancient people to come to life, had started to rust. Indeed, the golden tablet was beginning to rust, but Larry paid little attention to this, as he was focused on his show. He ignored the Egyptian pharaoh's warning and proceeded. The businessmen arrived to watch the museum's stage show. All the ancient beings that had come to life tried their best to perform. But the golden tablet, which had already started rusting significantly, lost its effect due to the rust. As a result, all the ancient artifacts in the museum that had come to life began to gradually lose control and turn back into stone. The ancient people and animals on stage began to act completely erratically. Captain, affected by the malfunctioning golden tablet, even pointed a gun at Larry among the businessmen, having forgotten his memory. After witnessing this chaos, the museum director decided to shut down the show completely. The director believed that Larry was responsible for all the problems, so he became angry with him. Larry couldn't understand what was happening to the golden tablet after so much time, causing everything in the museum to go out of control. Determined to find out more, Larry began researching. He discovered that many years ago, when the golden tablet was taken from the Egyptian caves, the boy who had fallen into the cave was still alive. Although he was now quite old, Larry decided to visit him to get more information about the golden tablet. The old man told Larry that although they had brought the golden tablet, the villagers had warned them that touching the information would curse everyone and over time, the tablet's magic would gradually diminish. The old man informed Larry that if he wanted more information about the tablet, he would need to visit a major museum in England, where he could find extensive details about the golden tablet. Larry then approached the museum director, asking for permission to take the golden tablet to the museum in England, explaining that the chaos on stage was due to the tablet's malfunction. However, the museum director responded that due to the poor performance, Larry was being dismissed from his job. 
Larry argued that all the living exhibits in the museum were due to the golden tablet, and if it malfunctioned, everything would revert to statues, and the museum would be shut down. Larry insisted that if given permission, he could go to England because the English authorities wouldn't yet know he had been fired. After much consideration, the museum director granted permission. Consequently, along with the golden tablet, many ancient artifacts were moved to the museum in England. Larry quickly boarded a flight and arrived in England. When Larry and his team entered the English museum, they discovered that due to the magical powers of the golden tablet, all the ancient items in that museum had also come to life. A large dinosaur skeleton attacked Larry's friends, causing devastation throughout the museum. At the right moment, a heroic ancient warrior named Hercules arrived and defeated the enormous dinosaur skeleton with his swordsmanship, saving Larry's friends from harm. Shortly afterward, they encountered giant snakes with multiple heads, which were aggressively trying to attack Larry's friends. Hercules, using his strength, began fighting the snakes again. This time, Larry and his friends also joined in. After enduring many difficulties, they finally managed to defeat the snakes. However, Larry knew he needed to fix the golden tablet quickly, or all the ancient artifacts in the museum would come to life and wreak havoc. Larry noticed that due to the rust on the golden tablet, the ancient beings that had come to life were gradually losing their memory. For example, Captain's hand had become as limp as a wax statue. If the golden tablet wasn't repaired, Larry's ancient friends would die. Larry also noticed that some of his team members were missing, so he sent his pet monkey to find them while he set out with the remaining companions to the Egyptian pharaoh's parents, who were likely near the underground mummy tomb. Meanwhile, two of Larry's team members found themselves in a place surrounded by flowing lava. The monkey quickly found them and managed to cool down the lava from another source, saving them just as they were about to perish. Larry, with the rest of his team, eventually reached the Egyptian pharaoh's parents. The pharaoh was overjoyed to see his parents after so many years. Larry explained to them how the golden tablet was deteriorating. The tablet was originally powered by moonlight, but now even that was not working. If the golden tablet continued to degrade, all the ancient beings brought to life by its magic would also perish. Therefore, they needed to find a way to repair the tablet as soon as possible. Suddenly, Hercules, the brave warrior, noticed that the golden tablet appeared to be a map leading to Hercules' royal palace. Showing his strength, Hercules took the golden tablet in his hands, determined to follow the map. And then, everyone began to chase after Hercules, hoping to get the golden tablet. However, Larry was caught by the museum guard, who locked him in a room with an ancient man before leaving. The ancient man's face was covered in a lot of hair, and Larry realized that this ancient man might be his ancestor. He needed to escape and get the golden tablet. Suddenly, Larry's duplicate ancient man banged his head against the door, causing it to open automatically. Larry quickly escaped from the room and headed to catch Hercules. Meanwhile, Hercules, while fleeing, ended up in a large show based on an ancient play where two actors and an actress were performing. As Hercules approached the stage, he saw the actress and thought she was his girlfriend. He went up to her and expressed his love. However, the actors informed him that this was not real. They were merely performing according to the script. Hercules was mistaken, and everyone present was shocked by his actions. At that moment, Larry and his remaining friends arrived at the scene to take the golden tablet from Hercules. Hercules, with the tablet in hand, had reached the top of the building, and Larry followed him. Larry explained that things were not as Hercules thought. Hercules believed that the golden tablet was a map leading to his lost palace, but the tablet had rusted so much that everything brought to life by it was turning into wax figures. Larry's friends, including Captain, and all the animals were also turning into wax statues. 
Even Hercules' nose was starting to melt. Larry then explains to Hercules that they are all wax figures brought to life by the tablet, and if the tablet is no longer available, they will all cease to exist. Hercules realizes that what he thought was his palace was destroyed many years ago, and he is now in the 21st century, where no such palace exists. Understanding Larry's explanation, Hercules hands the golden tablet over to him. Larry quickly adjusts the markings on the tablet and places it under the moonlight. As the moonlight hits it, the tablet fully charges, and the rust on it disappears. With the tablet fixed, all the ancient figures that had turned into wax statues returned to their normal state. Larry has successfully repaired the tablet and saved everyone. The ancient people in the England Museum decide that the tablet should remain there. Although Larry knows that leaving the tablet there means his friends in the museum will eventually perish, his other friends are content with the decision, saying that their happiness lies in others being happy. The Egyptian pharaoh, reunited with his parents, is very grateful. Larry leaves the golden tablet in the England Museum and returns home with all the other ancient figures. He spends the last moments with his ancient friends, knowing that soon morning will come and they will all turn into wax figures again. With the absence of the golden tablet, they will never awaken again. Captain talks to Larry one last time, saying that his heart is very pure and that he should always remain happy. Before turning into a wax figure, Captain tells Larry to smile, my boy. As the sun's rays touch the museum, all the ancient figures turn into wax statues. Larry then leaves his museum job, as there is no longer a purpose to being there without his friends. And so, three years pass. One day, the museum director received a visit from the same plump lady who used to work at the England Museum. She was holding the golden tablet and handed it to the director, saying that Larry was not lying. It was indeed because of this golden tablet that the museum's exhibits had come to life. The director, eager to boost the museum's business, decided to place the tablet in his own museum. As a result, all the ancient artifacts in the museum came to life once again, and everyone was celebrating, causing the museum's business to reach new heights. Larry, watching from outside, realized that his friends had returned and went back into the museum. And so, our adventure-filled story comes to an end.